Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at Lincoln Park in Lima, Ohio. Lincoln Park is located on the intersection of East Elm Street and Shawnee Street in Lima, Ohio. The park features trees and even a playground area. Also at the corner near the intersection is the city's fire station that is likely used as a museum. There's even picnic tables under shelter. Also the park has train, a train shelter that has a caboose and business car and a steam locomotive from the Nickel Plate Road. The steam locomotive in the park is the last steam engine to be built by the city's locomotive works. The factory was south of this location near 4th and McLean Road and was demolished in the 1990s. Part of the exhibit just across from the street sidewalk is a train depot once used by the Detroit, Toledo and Ironton Railroad, but it came from Uniopolis, Ohio as well. What you see right behind me is the Detroit, Toledo and Ironton Uniopolis Depot. The Detroit, Toledo, and Arnton Uniopolis Depot was built in 1895 and was originally located in Uniopolis, Ohio. It was originally used by the Ohio Southern Railroad till it was later merged to the Detroit, Toledo, and Arnton Railroad in 1905. It would also be where people would buy their tickets inside and also board a train to going somewhere or arriving on a train from somewhere. It also served as a freight depot as well. Then later on the depot was retired and in 1964 it was donated by the railroad to the city of Lima and was put right here at Lincoln Park in Lima, Ohio and is just across the sidewalk from the gutter as well. Okay, you can see behind me, this is a depot signal used with the depot, and I think it's always been with this depot for many years. And also, it would be used to indicate a train to stop or to slow down or to go, as you can tell by the lights up there. And yeah, you can see behind me this bridge with those, that kind of mural, I believe that is. And also this bridge, I think, does have the Lima sign, which I don't think that's the official Lima Locomotive Works, but that tells you we're in the town of Lima, Ohio. And also the steam engine in the middle, the picture of the steam engine, I should say, is Detroit, Toledo, and Ironton engine 806, it looks like. And also I think that steam engine would have been built here in Lima, Ohio by the Lima Locomotive Works, which this park is home to the last commercially built Lima steam engine, which is just a little bit close by. And also it's a 282 Mikado. And these railroad logos are Baltimore and Ohio, Erie Railroad, and Detroit, Toledo, and Arnton. Also this these tracks are still active and are still used today. And I think this bridge has been here forever. It's probably a modern looking bridge. What you see right behind me is Nickel Plate Road 779. Nickel Plate Road 779 was built by Lima Locomotive Works here in Lima, Ohio in 1949 and is the 9380th steam locomotive built by that factory and is a 284 Berkshire type steam locomotive and is an S3 class steam locomotive. This locomotive was the last steam locomotive to be built by the Lima Locomotive Works. For many years, this locomotive has worked the Nickel Plate Road hauling freight equipment. Then, in 1958, the locomotive was then retired and put on display here at Lincoln Park's Railroad Exhibit in Lima, Ohio, where it is seen on display today. It is on display here at Lincoln Park in Lima, Ohio as a monument from when Lima Locomotive Works was in Lima, Ohio, as it was the factory's last steam locomotive to be finished. 
Also, Nickel Plate Road 779 is one of six surviving Nickel Plate Road 284s remaining today, and 779 can be found here on display at Lincoln Park as part of the rail exhibit under the gutter behind the chain link fence where it is today, and you could even visit the locomotive's cab and even sit where the engineer and fireman used to sit as well. What you see right behind me is Nickel Plate Road 1091. Nickel Plate Road 1091 was built by Lafayette Car Company in Lafayette, Indiana in 1882 and is a wooden cupola caboose. This caboose was used for many years on the Nickel Plate Road Railroad on the back of freight trains as the railroad crew's office. In 1964, when the Nickel Plate Road merged with the Norfolk and Western, it was renumbered 559091 and was used on freight trains on the railroad. Then later on, this caboose was retired and was soon put in this spot at Lincoln Park in Lima, Ohio. It was restored by the Allen County Historical Society of Lima, Ohio, and was repainted to its nickel plate road appearance, and is seen displayed here under the gutter and behind the chain link fence where it is today. What you see right behind me is nickel plate road five. Nickel plate road five was built by Pullman in 1883 and is a business car. Originally, the car was used by the Lake Erie and Western Railroad and originally numbered 100 for that railroad. For many years, it was used for railroad executives on board. When the Lake Erie and Western merged to the Nickel Plate Road, it was renumbered 5 and did the same role on the railroad's predecessor as well. Then, later on, the car was retired and was then put on display at the Lincoln Park Railway Exhibit in Lima, Ohio, and is seen behind the chain link fence and under the shelter as well. Okay, you can see right here this yellow hand car. It was once used for maintenance of way use. That's the old way we would have done it back then. But nowadays, they've been replaced with modern technology, which would be speeders, which were added with motor, which are added with motors. And I think this hand car would have worked the nickel plate road. And now here it is today on display at the Lincoln Park Railway exhibit in Lima, Ohio. Well. I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give the Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give the Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, 
Be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. The link is in the description box below along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to the Train Guy. So this is Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Sign out until next time. All aboard.